I, I, I do want to bring up this because it was posted on official CT pod, our Twitter. Uh, and it says, what veteran cornerbacks would you, would you want the Detroit Lions to pursue in free agency? Few names still available. Stefan Gilmore, Xavier Howard, Adoree Jackson, Patrick Peterson, even Tredavious White, who's coming off some injuries. Uh, yeah, Dan Campbell signed. mentioned this. The, did he really? The to where? The Rams. Yeah, literally like one, one year. One year deal. Million. I think 11. I think, it was, I think it was that. I could be wrong. I think it might have been eight. Like it was cheap. It, oh, very, maybe I'm very wrong. Cheap. Yeah, I, I trust you more than myself, Boone, when it comes oh, to that stuff. Just an absolute oh. cheap deal. Was, while I was leaving work, I got the alert and I was like, oh, man, we probably could have hey. done that deal. I, I, I think he's going to, he's going to have a, a good, good little bounce back this year. Maybe he's not going to be Tredavious in his prime, but I, I think that's a good little deal. One, yeah, year, one year, eight and a half million up to 10, wow. max value up to 10 million. So they're probably incentives. Wow. Eight, eight and a half though. It's crazy. Shout out to you. And shout out to ETN, by the way. That's it, man. You guys, that was a good, that was yeah. a great signing for you guys. I, I want to hear this list. I want to see what Lucas has to say about this because I'm interested in some of these guys. Like Brad came out today and yep. talked like so Dan came out this morning and I want to lead this up for Lucas to kind of throw a uh, oop here because Dan came out and said this is a, a like we we need to we're urgency with this and then Brad I don't know if you guys listen to Brad talk Brad was like we like we actually like the guys we have in our room I'm not going to sit here and try and like freak out and go around it, it seemed like there was a little two different sides to it which is weird to me but Brad was more so like we really love the guys we have in our room right now um and we and with Mosley coming back, we feel like he's going to be able to help out. But to me, it's there's some of these guys cheap options here. And then Lucas, I want to see where you where you would go, kind of cheap here, because Brad did say he doesn't care about injuries. And I know some of these guys have been injured. And Brad literally today was like, "I want the best football players, even if injuries are not, because I could get a guy that's maybe worse and played a lot of football games, and he ends up getting hurt this year." to where I can get a guy that's a better football player and he didn't play last year and he plays a full yep. season this year. So it makes sense, but I want to go to you. Injuries aside, I want to know who you – injuries aside. Yeah, I I mean, that's – because I didn't really listen to Brad talk, but I listened to Dan, and he he made it seem like we obviously yeah. know that we need a corner. We're going to address that in free agency. So it could very well possibly be the guys on that list. You guys know that I want Stefan Gilmore. He was my number one free agent out of all of them, even over – Daniel Hunter and all that heading into the offseason. I think yeah, he's exactly what, what Steph- he is exactly what this Lions team needs. And it can come at any spot. Is it CB one, two, or three? I think he can hold it down. And I know he just got the the Panthers had interest in him because that he's from Carolina. So like hometown thing. If you're telling me that you think Stefan Gil that this will be something I will kind of be upset with Brad about it. Stefan Gilmore goes to the the Panthers, the Carolina oh. Panthers, and David Tepper for like a one year. $10 million deal when you have his brother in the locker room and a need at the quarterback position, especially when you could add a veteran, which would be very useful in this d- defensive back room. Stefan Gilmore is a home run hit. Um, I don't know if it's going to get done, but if I were to pick one, it would be Stefan Gilmore. Number two would be Akella Witherspoon and number three would be Patrick Peterson. But cause all what? those guys are long man to man corners that are veterans. Are you out on JC Jackson? JC Jackson, yeah, he's but he's a zone guy. He doesn't fit what the Lions want to do. And he really like he's one of those defensive backs that lived off that Belichick scheme and then they kind of go somewhere else. It's not like they're terrible. Like he had a solid year in LA, but he's hurt off the field. He's a distraction. I don't think he's anything like that. Fair. Yeah. And the other thing I want to add too with Stefan is he actually played, he what was he traded to Carolina or signed with them after New England? He was there for like a year. I think it might it might have been I don't know if it was signed maybe the check tell me about it was it signed or traded but um, mm-hmm. I'm with you Lucas you you've put me on to Stefan and I've uh, yeah. I I'm aboard the train it's the Stefan the, the Detroit Lions train and I think it just makes perfect sense and I know the the biggest thing the biggest pushback people say is you know well he's old like dude he he's he, he's still playing at a high level. Uh, maybe not the mm-hmm. level he once was early, but he's still a yeah. one of the best corners you have in your quarterback room. And I also saw this too, which I thought was funny. I, I, I don't know if it's true or not. I just someone commented like he doesn't want to take his brother's job, dude. You get to no. play with your brother. Are you kidding me? Chase the Super Bowl? His brother too isn't going to be like a take his brother's corner. job. His brother was yeah. on the practice squad. Yeah, yeah I, it's I not like come here. Like, Come, come and help your brother get better and, and like teach your brother and, and, and let him learn from you. If anything, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm with both of you guys. I think the Stefan Gilmore, I don't see if, if he goes somewhere else. I'm with Lucas. It's going to be a pretty disappointing because I've seen all these reports 
and obviously like the the camp Sutton stuff just happened i haven't seen the lions involved in any of these reports that came out but but obviously camp Sutton stuff just happened and now it's like now there's some urgency so maybe they've made that phone call and he has the connection with his brother in the building I, I don't get I, the old age. It doesn't matter to me. I think no matter what, anyways, whatever, if they bring another corner in, it's a one-year deal. I, I think they're just like, Hey, we, we had a situation with cam. We had him on a three-year deal. I think we're going to, we, if we're going to bring someone in, give us a vet nine to $11 million, one-year deal. And, and, and let's move on. And now we have a, like, if you bring us Stephon Gilmore in that corner room, like Brad already said today, yeah. he feels very comfortable with the corner room um, with with the Meek Robertson, Carlton Davis, and Emmanuel Mosley. Like he said, he feels very comfortable with that. If you add a Stephon Gilmore to that, you you're over comfortable. Like, you're okay, we're good, yeah, exactly. and, and we can get a best player in the like. If there's a corner available, we feel his best player available. Now we're we have five guys there competing for the starting job. Now we're great. And it's just like saying that, and it's not like. They're, they have like no talent in the corner record. I don't want to sound like that at all, but when you go from right. Carlton Davis to Amik Robertson and then you bring up Emmanuel Mosley, like that seems like a drop off. And then potentially after, like if there's an injury depth wise, like the yeah. Lions, there's still a massive hole in that cornerback room. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I just want experience. And they brought in Carlton, who's played in a Super Bowl, played in, in big games. I just want a guy who will not shrink on the biggest stage and Stefan Gilmore will not do that. Now, you know, obviously physically he can't help that. He's not like I said, like he once was as a young, uh, young NFL player in this league. I get that. I'm very aware of that. Uh, and by the way, I see Adam talking about Kamari Lasseter. I see a Max Melton too. That's why I like you. L- looks, um, looks but like anyway, a, a back, lunar to, guy. back to the Stephon Gilmore thing. Uh, I just want a guy I could trust, man. You know, like you, you get into the playoffs, Stefan's just not even going to blank. And you, you know he's not going to blank. He's going to be comfortable. And it's, it's somebody that, again, you could just rely on to do your job. Remember the big thing with this cornerback room and just the secondary is always miscommunication. Now you have a yeah. guy who is – you don't have to communicate much. He's going to know his job. Yeah. And he'll be he'll be ready to play, and you can count on him. Uh, despite maybe his physical limitations, again, he's not like he once was. But he's one of the – I would argue – you look at the available corners. The he's the best one. available. Yeah. yeah at least so the next, for next season specifically, he is still the best corner available. Mm. I, I think so, too, it's just, like you just it. have, like you it. just have dudes in there competing for a starting job. I think it's like the depth at the end of the day, like Br- Brad today, it sounded like Brad felt like Amik Robertson could be a starter, which if, if he feels like that and, and, you know, he has that kind of I, I, like outlook on him. I, I trust him a little bit. But again, like the corner room has been a disaster the last year, and, oh, yeah. and, and that's especially that second corner to where I, I do trust Brad. But in a sense, it's we've had trouble kind of evaluating that. Is Amik Robertson going to be that? The thing I do like about him is he wants to come and like absolutely compete and, and go at it. I don't know if you guys like today. They thought he they were out on Amik when Carlton Davis got traded there, and Car and Amik reached out to them and said like, "Are we going to get this done? I want to compete for the starting job." Like he didn't care. They literally came in thinking they were just going to get one of them, either or, and they got both. So that's why I have a little bit of faith in that. I just think it comes back to depth. Like you can't have a guy yeah, get hurt what else through the after? year. Yeah, and mm-hmm. you can't have a Stephen Gilmore step up and say, "Yeah, you trust that," or you have to like. Mm-hmm. And, and that's no, 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 nothing against Stephen Gilmore. He he's young though he's still like developing and getting better and he may become he may become good and maybe this is his year he kind of takes that jump but it's just where's that reliability at i I don't that's that's the position group where i'm a little it's the same with the edge like if someone goes down and you what do you do